Integrated Pest Management, or IPM, combines an understanding of nature with scientific knowledge to develop a more holistic approach to the management of pests in an orchard or field of crops. The aim of IPM is to allow for the natural predators to control the majority of the pests with only the minimum use of targeted chemicals to control specific pests when populations reach a certain level. The New Zealand horticultural industries have embraced IPM methodologies, resulting in big gains for growers, the environment and our export trade. So integrated pest management programs in New Zealand horticulture have had a huge impact uh, over the last 10 to 15 years. This is true for kiwi fruit, for wine grapes and for apples. In the case of the apple industry, if we look at the integration of integrated uh, pest management programs into now standard orchard production, insecticide use has declined by more than 80% in terms of the quantity of insecticide that's now used in apple production in New Zealand and halved the number of applications of insecticide that growers would normally apply uh, during the course of the season. So the real advantage of IPM was that it integrated selective pest management, so that was basically taking out the uh, broad spectrum and toxic pesticides that eliminated much of the orchard biodiversity. When we talk about biodiversity, we're talking about the natural enemies and that of the, of the pests. So by uh, seeking to conserve or preserve that biodiversity in our orchards by using selective pest management, we've had these other benefits uh, come through of us being able to reduce uh, pesticide use and total pesticide loading. So it's been a tremendous benefit to the growers and more importantly what it has done is position the industry in moving forward to look at other technologies other than pesticides to further lower pesticide residues on our export crops. To the extent that we are using non-insecticidal technologies such as insect mating disruption, which is simply using sexual confusion uh, between males and females. In the case of our pest moth problems, uh, using that technology to replace insecticides completely. The programs had other benefits for growers. It's reduced their exposure to toxic pesticides. And not only growers, as well as other environmental uh, factors that we can look at, is the bird life that's returned to our orchards. Today, uh, pukekos are abound in our orchards uh, as a, an indicator, really, of the, the whole safety and, and substantial shift away from broadly toxic pesticides to products and that, that have no impact either on people or on the environment. There's some very good examples of how successful biocontrol has been in controlling some of our key pests. I could talk about aphids, I could talk about mites, but there's one case in point. Uh, in the case of the apple industry, mealybugs uh, almost brought the apple export program uh, in New Zealand to its knees uh, around about 2000. Organophosphate resistant mealybugs have become a uh, number one scourge and in the space of two or three years uh, that problem almost completely disappeared because we changed the whole basis for the control program which allowed biological control uh, to come in and play a key role in controlling the mealybugs. Today if you ask an apple grower about mealybugs, they remember the problem well. They do nothing to control it today and they will often say they haven't seen a mealybug in ages. And that's really uh, a very satisfying, I guess, in terms of an outcome for a very successful biocontrol program that's happened naturally simply because we restored a natural balance to our whole control program.